the heather glen by george sigerson there blooms the bonny flower upon the heather glen though bright in sun in shower tis just as bright again i never can pass by it i never dare go nigh it my heart it won't be quiet up the heather glen sing o oh, the blooming heather o oh, the heather glen where fairest fairies gather to lure in mortal men i never can pass by it i never dare go nigh it my heart it won't be quiet up the heather glen there sings a bonny linnet up the heather glen the voice has magic in it too sweet for mortal men it brings joy doon before us with winsome mellow chorus but flies far too far over us up the heather glen sing o oh, the blooming heather o oh, the heather glen where fairest fairies gather to lure in mortal men i never can pass by it i never dare go nigh it my heart it won't be quiet up the heather glen oh might i pull the flower that's blooming in that glen nay sorrows that could lower would make me sad again and might i catch that linnet my heart my hope are in it oh heaven itself i'd win it up the heather glen sing o oh, the blooming heather o oh, the heather glen where fairest fairies gather to lure in mortal men i never can pass by it i never dare go nigh it my heart it won't be quiet up the heather glen end of the heather glen the wind among the reeds by nora hopper mavrone mavrone the wind among the reeds it calls and cries and will not let me be and all its cry is of forgotten deeds when men were loved of all the dean she o oh, she that have forgotten how to love and she that have forgotten how to hate asleep neath quicken boughs that no winds move come back to us ere yet it be too late pipe to us once again lest we forget what piping means till all the silver spears be wild with gusty music such as met carolan once amid the dusty years dance in your rings again the yellow weeds you used to ride so far mount as of old play hide and seek with wind among the reeds and pay your scores again with fairy gold end of the wind among the reeds the changeling from the book of irish poetry part one he stood alone outside the fairy hill beneath the horned moon and heard below the grasses gay and shrill an elfin tune there came to him a memory faint and far of things he once had known a square of window and a twinkling star a warm hearthstone he set soft feet upon the turfy path crushing the scented thyme he turned his back upon the fairy wrath the hidden chime he passed the swaying foxgloves by the wall and left the stream behind a startled rabbit through the brackens tall fled like the wind drawn by a baby thought of mother eyes he pattered down the lane to the low house and standing tiptoe wise peeped through the pane a woman hushed a wakeful child to sleep beside a dying fire hush oh 
Hush, oh, she crooned, and do not weep, O oh, heart's desire. Lie still and sleep, nor fear the fairy's wile. No harm shall come to thee. Outside, her baby saw the changeling smile upon her knee. With dimpled hand, he beat upon the glass. The woman drew the blind. Hush, oh, my child. Dost hear the fairies pass upon the wind? End of the Changeling The Fairy Lover From the Book of Irish Poetry, Part 1 It was by yonder thorn I saw the fairy host O low night wind, O wind of the west My love rode by There was gold upon his brow And since that hour I can neither eat nor rest I dare not pray, lest I should forget his face, O black north wind blowing cold beneath the sky. His face and his eyes shine between me and the sun. If I may not be with him, I would rather die. They tell me I am cursed, and I will lose my soul, O red wind shrieking o'er the thorn-grown dune. But he is my love, and I go to him tonight. You will ride when the thorn glistens white beneath the moon. You will call my name and lift me to his breast. Blow soft, O wind, neath the stars of the south. I care not for heaven, and I fear not hell. If I have but the kisses of his proud red mouth. End of the Fairy Lover The Leprechaun or Fairy Shoemaker from the book of irish poetry part one little cowboy what have you heard up on the lonely rath's green mound only the plaintive yellow bird sighing in sultry fields around cherry 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 only the grasshopper and the bee tip tap rip rap tick a tack too scarlet leather sewn together this will make a shoe Left, right, pull it tight, summer days are warm, Underground in winter, laughing at the storm. Lay your ear close to the hill, Do you not catch the tiny clamor? Busy click of an elfin hammer, Voice of the leprechaun singing shrill, As he merrily plies his trade. He's a span and a quarter in height, Get him in sight, hold him tight, And you're a made man. You watch your cattle the summer day, sup on potatoes, sleep in the hay. How would you like to roll in your carriage, look for a duchess's daughter in marriage, seize the shoemaker, then you may. Big boots a-hunting, sandals in the hall, white for a wedding feast, pink for a ball. This way, that way, so we make a shoe, getting rich every stitch, tick-tack, too. Nine and ninety treasure crocks this keen miser fairy hath, hid in mountains woods and rocks ruin and rontar cave and wrath and where the cormorants build from time of old guarded by him each of them filled full to the brim with gold i caught him at work one day myself in the castle ditch where foxglove grows a wrinkled wizened and bearded elf spectacles stuck on his pointed nose silver buckles to his hose leather apron shoe in his lap rip rap tip tap tick tack too a grasshopper on my cap away the moth flew buskins for a fairy prince brogues for his son pay me well pay me well when the job is done the rogue was mined beyond a doubt i stared at him he stared at me servant sir huff <laughs> says he and pulled a snuff-box out he took a long pinch looked better pleased the queer little leprechaun offered the box with a whimsical grace poof he flung the dust in my face and while i sneezed was gone end of the leprechaun or fairy shoemaker fairy song by eleanor sweetman when daisies close and poppies nod and meadow grass to earth is laid and fairy stands on moonlit sod or quaff of dewdrops in the shade Come, gentle dreams, in velvet shod, And foot it round each sleeping maid. Come softly hither, dove-winged flock, And on their pillows make your nest, And light as down from puffball clock, Let kisses on their eyes be pressed. Then sit upon the couch and rock, 
each tender little heart to rest end of fairy song the others by shames o'sullivan from our hidden places by a secret path we come in the moonlight to the side of the green wrath where the night through we take our pleasure dancing to such a measure as earth never knew to song and dance and lilt without a name so sweetly breathed twould put a bird to shame and many a young maiden is there of mortal birth her young eyes laden with dreams of earth and many a youth entranced moves slowly in the wildered round his brave lost feet enchanted with the rhythm of fairy sound music so forest wild and piercing sweet would bring silence on blackbirds singing their best in the ear of spring and now they pause in their dancing and look with troubled eyes earth's straying children with sudden memory wise they pause and their eyes in the moonlight with fairy wisdom cold grow dim and the thought goes fluttering in the hearts no longer old and then the dream forsakes them and sighing they turn anew as the whispering music takes them to the dance of the elfin crew oh many a thrush and a blackbird would fall to the dewy ground and pine away in silence for envy of such a sound so the night through in our sad pleasure we dance to many a measure that earth never knew end of the others what is love from the early irish a love all commanding always standing three a year is my love a grief darkly hiding starkly biding without let or remove of strength a sharp straining past sustaining wheresoever i rove a force still extending without ending before and around and above of heaven tis the brightest amazement the blackest abasement of hell a struggle for breath with the sceptre in nectar a choking to death tis a race with heaven's lightning and thunder then champion feats under moils water tis pursuing the cuckoo the wooing of echo the rock's airy daughter till my red lips turn ashen my light limbs grow laden my heart loses motion in death my eyes deaden so is my love and my passion so is my ceaseless devotion to her to whom i give them to her who will not have them end of what is love the song of creed daughter of guerre translated from a tenth century poem in the battle of adnir creed the daughter of king guerre of adnir beheld dinatach of the high figenti who had come to the help of guerre with seventeen wounds upon his breast then she fell in love with him he died and was buried in the cemetery of colman's church these are the arrows that murder sleep at every hour in the night's black deep pangs of love through the long day ache all for the dead dinatach's sake great love of a hero from roiny's plain has pierced me through with immortal pain blasted my beauty and left me to blanch a riven bloom on a restless branch never was song like dinatach's speech but holy strains that to heaven's gate reach a front of flame without boast or pride yet a firm fond maid for a fair maid's side a growing girl i was timid of tongue and never twisted with gallants young but since i have won into passionate age fierce love longings my heart engage i have every bounty that life could hold with guerre arch monarch of edne cold but fallen away from my haughty folk in ill of his field my heart lies broke there is chanting in glorious agnes meadow under st colman's church's shadow a hero flame sings into the tomb dinata alas my love and my doom chaste christ 
that now at my life's last breath i should tryst with sorrow and mate with death at every hour of the night's black deep these are the arrows that murder sleep end of the song of creed daughter of grair